Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to build a joystick controlled car using ESP Now communication between a transmitter and receiver. I'll be using one ESP32 module in my hand to send commands to another ESP32 on the car. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. ESP Now is a powerful wireless communication protocol developed by Espressif. Unlike Wi Fi or Bluetooth, ESP Now allows multiple ESP32 devices to communicate directly with each other without needing an internet connection or router. Devices are paired using their MAC addresses, and once configured, the connection is reliable and responsive. For this project, we need two ESP32 boards, one for transmitting and one for receiving, along with a joystick module, an L298N motor driver to control the motors, two breadboards, a four wheel drive, 4WD chassis, and some jumper wires and connectors. Let's begin with the hardware setup. First, connect both the left and right motors in parallel so that they rotate in the same direction when powered. Mount the L298N motor driver onto the chassis and connect the motor wires to the driver's output terminals. Next, a T-connector is attached to the motor driver's power input terminal. Then, take a wire and connect it from the motor driver's 5V output pin to the VIN pin of the ESP32. Also, connect the ground of the motor driver to the ground pin of the ESP32. After that, connect the motor driver's input signal pins to the ESP32 using jumper wires. The pin mapping table will be shown on the screen for reference. Now, power the system using two lithium-ion batteries connected in series to supply around 8 volts through a T-connector. Connect it to your computer via a USB cable and upload the code that displays the MAC address. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and press the Enable button on the ESP32. You'll see the MAC address printed there. Copy and save it somewhere safe. Now let's move on to the transmitter setup. Place the ESP32 and joystick module on a breadboard. Connect the joystick's pins to the ESP32 as shown in the pin mapping table. Then, upload a simple test code to read the joystick values in the serial monitor. If you see the values changing as you move the joystick, it's working fine. Next, download the main transmitter code from my GitHub. At the beginning of the code, I've included the necessary libraries and defined the pins for reading the joystick's X and Y axes. Then I assign the MAC address of the receiver, which we collected earlier from receiver ESP32. In the loop function, the ESP32 reads the joystick values and maps them between minus 1000 to plus 1000 and sends them wirelessly via ESP now. Select the correct board and COM port, and upload the code to the transmitter ESP32. Then copy the receiver code from my GitHub and paste the code into the Arduino IDE and upload it to the receiver ESP32. Now let's test the full system. I'm powering the transmitter ESP32 with a power bank that provide 5 volts via USB cable. As you can see, it's working perfectly. The joystick is controlling the car smoothly using ESP now.
Thanks a lot for watching the full video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome projects.